guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have been asking me to do an update with my pregnancy. So I am currently 15 weeks, I'll be 16 weeks tomorrow. So I thought that this could be a little bit of a 12 week to 15 week update. Um, in my previous video, obviously I was 12 weeks because you got to see the scan. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that I've been feeling a lot um, I've been feeling sick a lot more with this pregnancy as compared to Oscar um, and just really lethargic but I think that's obviously running around after a toddler as well as being pregnant. So, I mean I feel like my skin's an awful lot better than what it was. I felt like you know in the first three months my skin just broke out. I mean obviously I've got makeup on today. My midwife appointment on Tuesday so hopefully fingers crossed I get to hear the baby's heartbeat which is exciting and I just get my um, just you know regular 16 week checkup. What I've noticed with this pregnancy is that um, I know a lot of people say like you pop a lot sooner and that is definitely true. I felt like I was in my maternity trousers from like 10 weeks um, and I think they're gonna have to cut me out of them at the end because I just kind of pretty much live and die in them but yeah they're so comfortable and I just feel like I just bloated a lot more. I don't know if anyone had that with their second one. I just don't remember being as bloated this time as I was last time. No, yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, as pregnancies go, I'm happy, I'm excited, so um, I can't really complain. Um, definitely gone off meat again, like I did with Oscar. Um, so I'm just trying to think of alternative meals in the evening of what to eat, um, instead of just, you know, vegging out on pasta, because I think if I kept doing that, I would probably be huge <laughs> at the end of this pregnancy so I've just been looking on Pinterest and getting meal ideas so if you guys have any sort of vegetarian style meal ideas for me you know please comment below and let me know that would be great craving um, sweeter things um, yeah so you know I used to be able to go ages without eating chocolate whereas I just seem to be reaching for a chocolate bar every other day or every, you know, some kind of sweet treat. If it's not sugar in my tea, it's, you know, some sweets or something like that. So even if I don't consume a load of pasta with the amount of chocolate and sweets I'm eating, I'll probably still be huge at the end of this pregnancy. So I'm feeling an awful lot better than what I have done. I think this week especially, um, to 15 weeks, I've had a lot more energy than what I have had. Um, I felt like I've pretty much been, you know, having to sit down every 10 minutes after I've done something in the last three months because I'm just exhausted but I do also have an underactive thyroid so I do have to keep an eye on that as well and have to have a regular checkup so I will be also having another blood test on soon um because I have to take tablets with that so obviously with pregnancy and my thyroid I am obviously exhausted but and running around after Oscar um so yeah, but I think a lot of you have probably seen my Insta stories and just thought, oh my god, she looks so rough, but at least I, uh, I've made a bit of an effort today and put on a bit of makeup and done my hair, so I try not to scare you all at the moment, but I definitely think that the whole pregnancy glow has been completely MIA with me this time around, so I don't know if that's just because I'm a little bit older now, but... Yeah, I mean, when this baby is due, Oscar's going to be nearly three. So it's just trying to remember everything that happened the first time around. I know that sounds daft because it wasn't that long ago, but um, yeah, it's exciting. I am really, really excited and happy and I'm not moaning, really. I think Jason says I'm probably a little bit grumpier this time around than I was with Oscar. I think I was a lot more chilled, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I think that's just hormones. <laughs> other biggest cravings at the moment seems to be Ribena. I'm absolutely loving it and I just can't stop drinking. Um, it's just, I, I don't know, if you, okay the best way to explain it is that if you've been on a night out, <laughs> sounds really bad doesn't it, but when you wake up and you're so thirsty and you just got to consume like a large amount of drink like water or juice or something like that the next day, that is like me all the time now so let me know if you guys are the same I just feel like I'm constantly drinking and then obviously constantly having to pee so but yeah going off of meat um, the smell of garlic I can eat it I just don't like the smell of it it just that makes me nauseous um, 
but yeah it's just little things like I'll really fancy something to eat um, I'll eat it and then I'll be sick so I'm just like trying to get that constant battle of you know not wanting to be ill and then sticking to something safe so but yeah any meal ideas or anything that you guys suffered with with nausea um, please let me know because um, I didn't like I said I didn't really get it with Oscar I had like a little bit of nausea at the beginning um, but I seem to have had it a lot worse this time around but it's just part and parcel of pregnancy <laughs> so this is my bump at 15 weeks nearly 16 weeks so it all feels really tight up here um, and then obviously just it's not I wouldn't say it's massive but it's obviously already popped but then I am wearing quite a tight jumper so but yeah I don't think it's too bad so that is my pregnancy update sorry it was a bit short and sweet but I don't know what else I can really say without sounding like I'm moaning which I'm not I'm not at all um, but you know I think everyone's the same with pregnancy you get nausea you get tired um, but yeah they're my cravings at the moment and that's how I've been feeling so um, but yeah I hope you like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you would like obviously more pregnancy updates and to follow me on my journey please hit the subscribe button and press the little bell so you get notified and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!